Hey, right, noise abatement rules. There we go. Rules. Climb to 400, minimal altitude. Make right turn, turn towards the bay. Okay. So they want us to fly over the beep at the end there. 400 feet and we're going to turn right to the bay and then we'll climb up and continue. We'll call Atlantic City basically right after departure and get our squawk again from them and flight follow on to Monmouth. 24-6. Okay. So uh, let's reset some things here. Let's do our yeah. flight plan. Go ahead and hit flight plan. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put my brakes on. We are 1100. Good. Flight plan. All right. And let's go ahead and just invert this. So we're going to press menu. Not anymore. Flight plan. Perfect. Menu. menu. And you're going to rotate down to invert. So we'll just flip it. And press enter. And now we have Barnegat Amith. Okay. So that's good. Perfect. Um, altitude, you can set now back to 3-5. Uh, Cape May traffic, Barron's a two and a half mile final, runway 19, Cape May. Right. 25. Uh, approach is set up, 124.6. Yep, so you can see here we have the Charlie shelf right here. So we want to depart and turn and maybe stay at a lower altitude until you get that clearance, right? So maybe keep it at around 1,000? Yeah, 1,000 or 1,200, 1,100. Thousand's fine, put a thousand. Yeah. That way at least you don't bust the shelf. Yep. Okay? Yep. All right. And now you can run through your before takeoff flow. Boost pump. Make sure full reach. Flaps 50. Engine page. Lights are on. We're going to leave everything on. And uh, trim is set. All right. Let's uh, make the call and get out of here. Ocean City, uh, Sirius 21, Echo Fox, departing runway 24, Ocean City. That's one way not to worry about mowing the grass out on your lights. <laughs> that freaking AstroTurf. That's it. Maintenance free, baby. Yeah. Right, Beautiful picture. Look at that sun glowing over the, the horizon with the birds. Come this on. Is, this How do you beat that? Isn't life great? Life is beautiful. Can't complain. Oh. Come on. Get it. Get it. Can't beat that type of stuff. All right. I'm going to power the brakes. Full power. Hold that right brake more. There you go. Alright. Off the brakes completely. Off the brakes. On the rudders. On the rudders. Maintain center line. Power set and your parameters are green. Yep. Airspeed's alive. Right rudder. 60. Rotate. Rotate. So we had a ground roll of 1900 at Monmouth, we calculated, right? 3,000 yep. feet with half is 15. So we're literally past halfway down the runway when you rotate. All right, start a VY climb. Yep, start that right turn towards. Caps is available. All right, go ahead and contact uh, Atlantic City here. So go transfer your frequency.
Hey, you can contact me on the just departed Ocean City. Via far from your channel, please connect. 2408, uh, squawk 1200, frequency change. Good night, sir. That's good, right there. Sonic City, uh, 021 Echo Fox, uh, just departed, uh, Ocean City, uh, headed to, uh, Monmouth County. Uh, request flight following, please. Map page. Squawk 2 Echo Fox for Atlantic City Approach, Squawk 3637. 3637. 3637 to 1 Echo Fox. Perfect, so he already acknowledged your call sign? So we're clear. 2 and Echo Fox, radar contact over Ocean City, 1,000 altimeter, 3026. 3026 to 1 Echo Fox. What do you say? You can now climb up to your altitude that you want. Full power. Power is set, flaps are up. Make sure it is in the green. Engine parameters are on the green. Aha. Nice. Fuel pump stays on. Little bit more. Yeah, so when you hit checklist, just go menu. Menu. Reset all checklist. Enter. Got gotcha, Atlantic City. Um, Pull this tank. Good. There's a lot of us in your radio calls. A lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, yeah. uh, Atlantic City Approach, uh, uh Sears 2 and Echo Fox, uh, 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 would like, uh, flight following to, uh, let's try to <laughs> work on cutting those out and just concisely yeah. saying it. That's the way I talk, bro. I that's suck. Like, that's I like the suck. meme. It's like, how many uhs or ums can you get into, like, one, one radio call? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, we're at 3,000 uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, heading uh, yeah. I can't think, uh, you know what? I, your brain I, I don't brain. think as fast as I talk. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta think a little bit faster than I talk. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, just think of, like, ahead of time what you were gonna say. I have to and write it down. You can just say it. I have to write it down so Atlantic I can City read it. Approach Series 2 1 Echo Foxtrot departed Ocean City, or 1.2. Um, by uh, oh, there you go. Oh, you caught me, see? Because <laughs> uh, I had to think about it because I was making it up on the spot. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Flight Paula, right. <laughs> Mammoth. They'll know who Mammoth is, or probably my mic. Um. It's like Kilo, meow, Kilo Bravo Lima, Mike. Don't say Kilo. Huh? No. Omit the Kilo. It's, under, it's understood. Just right. Bravo Lima, Mike. I got you. So I'm gonna sound like a. Some like other controller sound like a rookie. You'll be like, you don't say Kilo. Like what? Huh? But yeah, don't say Kilo. Uh, so I'm gonna sound like a rookie. But I am. I am a rookie. You are. You got no. There's no shame. No shame in your game. Feels, it just is what it is. Of lean. It's when you look back at yourself in a couple of years and you go, wow, I was really a rookie. Yeah. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy watching this.
I just pushed that level button. <laughs> they cheated. Some of the big casinos over there. Yeah. Pump is off. Emergency checklist. Entry 200 Atlantic City approach. Or cast checklist. Two six. The center maintains three thousand. No, no, no. Emergency cast. Approach one three. Cast. Yep. That's a crew. Uh, a crew uh, alert, right? Three so two six. Where am I at? Maybe uh, for uh, one. Crew alert. Oh yeah. yeah. Crew alert. Cast system. Uh, fuel uh, oil pressure uh, break. Uh, fuel uh, at one alternator. Uh, that's my cat match. It'll come back on in one second. There you go. Out one. Enter. Alternator seeker breaker. Uh, seeker. Br I gotta figure that that out. I guess I gotta get the uh, book for the circuit breakers. But they're on. And then the switch cycle. It was off. Okay. Pretend you don't turn it on though. Okay. Okay. So next time, leave it off and run through the rest of the checklist like it doesn't work. Okay. So cycle off. Pinch of both lows uh, reduce. So we gotta reduce AC if we, you know, we gotta take, turn off AC. Maybe turn minimal lights. I guess if we don't need if oh, we're for day. Uh, let's see. Uh, air conditioning, landing light. Uh, I mean, it's power, so disconnect whatever I got. My camera is on. I got them on the phones, whatever it's connected. Uh, EVS camera, uh, EVS camera, how do you turn that off? I how do you know. turn that off? That's a good question. How do I turn that off? You know the top. Continue flight, avoiding IMC. Nice this is why I don't leave this like this. People. So, here's my, uh, my circuit breakers. Out two. There's out one. Okay, so even Third row camera. down, second breaker. So pull. I can just pull yeah. that. Where, yeah, where's, exactly. where's out one? Out one is come fuel pump at one. Got it. So it's even down. Third one. Third all one the all the way in the bottom. Third one all the way. One, two, three. Got it. Okay. So that should always be on this page, so you could just pull this out and reference that. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Very good. So that's what you would do, and that's because if we go here and we go down to uh, video, the EVS camera's always on, just like always on, so we need to pull the breaker on it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's an option to like turn it off. You just pull the breaker for it. Huh. My throttle, your engine is sputtering. What are you doing? 8200. What am I doing? Well, cleared visual approach only one three. Cleared visual one three. Secondary I got some time. Why is it an engine failure? Hmm? Why? Who says it's an engine failure? It's not it's sputter. sputter. What might make it sputter? Um, mixture. Okay, put mixture full up. Fuel pump. Okay, let's do that. Fuel pump. And then what else do you do? Immediately with a sputtering engine. No idea. 
What about when that vent is clogged or something? Hmm? Tank. Switch tanks. Switch tanks. Oh, uh, oh there's power back. Oh, so oh, my right tank has got his problems in my yeah, right it's tank. It's got to be instant. Boost pump mixture tank. Swap immediately. You have no other indications of an engine failure. Oil temp, oil pressure is good. You didn't have anything blow up, nothing on the windscreen. Immediate thoughts, fuel. Check fuel right away. Fuel, fuel. Okay, you're ready to go land on the ground. I was ready to pull, pull caps. <laughs> pull caps. Yeah, I'm pulling caps, <laughs> man. And that's what happens. You know, that's not, yeah, like we joke around, but that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Something like that happens, and how many times do people land on a field or something, they look and there's like nothing wrong with the engine, nothing wrong with the airplane, they ran out of fuel on the right tank. They never swap tanks. Just totally gone. Oh, it's an, it's an engine failure. It's not. You, you work on trucks and stuff, look at the context clues. Oil temp, oil pressure is fine. Temps are good on all cylinders. EGTs were good. What is the most likely reason that this is happening? It was sputtering too. It didn't just like instantly fail. Which, without signs, if we had a catastrophic failure, it would be catastrophic. You'd probably yeah, seize agree. the yeah, engine, one, seize two, the prop would stop moving, or you so could blow like a rod through the case or something. Doing oil. It. Contact McGuire, approach 126.47. Good night. Uh, for us? Yep. 2647. 2647 to 1 Echo Fox. Good night. Alright. Maguire approach uh, Cirrus to 1 Echo Fox. Uh, 3000 climbing 3500. You just say 3000. 3 approach Fox. 3023. 3023 to 1 Echo Fox. Yeah, you could have just said that, stayed at three. All right, so yeah, like engine failure or something like that, you gotta be able to determine if it's like a fuel starvation issue or if it's an actual engine failure. No matter what, the first things you should do is do that because you wanna see if that resolves anything before you even have to know what anything is. Um, it's just swap tanks, boost pump on. If the mechanical fuel pump fails, might not be wrong anything with the pump or the tank there, but now you lost fuel pressure to the ejection system. Boost pump on, you know? So that's like, start getting that like in your thought process as you're thinking about it. Um, not bad caps thought process, but that's a little early for that yet, you know? Too early. So let's start thinking of other things. I think I see flames coming out of the engine cow. We have an engine fire. Engine's on fire. Hey, Izzo. Fire. What are you going to do? What are you doing? Uh, Engine's on fire. What are we doing? I have no fucking idea. What are we, what are we doing? We're just going to sit here and keep flying with it? Yeah, yeah. On sure. fire? <laughs> Let's start reacting here. What can we do if we don't know? Well, there are checklists. Uh, Just, it's in the emergency. That is an actual emergency. Oh, okay. 752 McGuire approach, cross the street. 023, verify your flight. 023, make sure. Cut off. Fuel pump off. Fuel selector off. Goes all the way to the back. Check, check, check. Airflow selector. Where's my airflow selector? Ah, uh, that's not. Okay. That confuses. Power idle, ignition switch off. So, and okay. put it on the ground. So let's think about it, right? All right. Don't overthink it. No. These have to become memory items. These are box checklists in the POH. You need to have it as memory. Yeah. But let's not overthink it. We have an engine fire. What do we want to immediately do? Shut it down, land as soon as possible. Cut fuel to the fire okay. is our first step. Right. So, Remove the fuel source, yeah. mixture off, yeah. fuel pump off, yeah. fuel selector off, yeah. fuel yeah. eliminated, yeah. okay? Yeah. Next, yeah. we want to preserve the cabin where we are. The air comes from inside, right? The engine bay. Um, if we're pulling smoky air, it's going to come through the vents. So immediately kill this. You can hear it shut. Okay, you feel it shut with the pressure difference. Okay. So immediately cut the air selector. Then, now that we've done the immediate fuel, immediate air, now power lever to idle because you don't have power anyway. Okay. Let's pull the ignition source off because if the engine is turning with the wind windmill and the prop, the spark plugs are still going off. So let's remove any ignition source up there, turn the key off, and then now let's find a spot to land. What are we doing? Okay, 
Um, emergency descent is next, so look at emergency descent. Power level goes to idle. Make sure as required. There's speed V and E. Yep, so power lever idle, we already have that done. Mixture is required, that's already never, off because we have an engine fire that never exceed. preceded the, the emergency descent. Airspeed, V and E. Today is super smooth right now. We're going the V and E if we have to. Yeah. If it's a little bumpy and turbulent, go to V and O, 164, maximum uh, cruising speed. If it's like really, really bad where you think you might get really jostled around, do V O, 133, maneuvering speed, okay? Um, so you need to use your decision making to go, what speed am I going to use? Because I need to get on the ground, I don't want to burn alive, but I also don't want to rip the wing off before I get there, you know, type of deal. How do we do emergency descent? Do you know? No. All right, so an emergency descent, we immediately go to 45 degrees of bank. We want to reduce the lift vector up to sideways, so we reduce vertical lift. That's going to help us go down. Then we let the nose come down and we get the speed up to that speed, and then you kind of hold that airspeed by pitch, right? Keeping that bank in the whole time. The bank is doing two things. What I just said, well, it's reducing the lift vector from just vertical to horizontal and vertical, so we have less vertical lift. So it's helping it us get down. Two, we want to keep positive Gs on the airframe. We don't want negative Gs. I don't want you to nose over the plane. Twilight 590, number one. We want to keep the plane positively loaded. It is a normal category aircraft. Normal category aircrafts are about positive 3.8 G rated, negative 1.5. You can easily overstress the airplane with negative Gs. The wings aren't meant to hold weight in the other direction. They're meant to hold weight downward towards Earth with the cabin weighing down on them, flexing like this. You negative G the plane by nosing down, then the wings really want to bend the other way. Snap right off. Not hard to do. So no negative Gs. Um, so 45 degrees, start a spiral and descent basically. Be looking for your point where you're going to go, whether you're going to pull caps or you're going to find an airfield. You would bail out of the descent at an altitude great enough to glide to your airport, okay? Um, or if you're going to caps altitude, you're picking either 2,000 or 1,000 feet. If it's not such a bad fire, maybe 2,000. If it's really bad, we want to get down as fast as possible, 1,000 feet, pull caps. Um, now, if you're V and E or something like that, right? Make sure you get down, but then you slow it up so you don't rip the parachute off. Be deployed too early, right? right? You're supposed deployed to at, deploy at 133. Exactly. So you really want to get that speed down to 133, pull, and then we have the least amount of time, about 30 to 45 seconds in shoot to the ground. Okay. Um, fire extinguisher might not be a bad thing to grab at that point, um, just in case you need to fight fire to get out. Uh, and then we'll get out the aircraft once we hit the ground or the water or whatever. Okay. So very good. Do you smell that? It smells like an electrical fire. Someone's burning in the cabin. Do we have a checklist for that? We do. Wires, okay, emergency again? The A220, uh, down to 4,000 for engine. Engine, emergency, ditching, ditching, engine. Uh, engine. Then I'll let area to remind you that there's heavy uh, jet up, 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 up. Thank you, keep, going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Smoke and fuming? No, not yet. That'll come next. Uh, cabin. Cabin fire. Cabin fire. Alternator switches. Off. Okay, so we're, we're switching. We're turning off all the batteries and alternator switches. Do you see all the batteries on there? 
State. So bat one, out one and all two. So bat one, which is the main battery, and the alternator switch. Southeastbound, climbing the. Why do you think we're leaving bat two on? What is bat two power? Lima, thank you. I forgot. Uh, what happens when we pre-flight the plane? What's the first battery we turn on? Bat one. Not bat one. It oh, goes bat, two. Yeah, oh yeah, bat two. Yeah, you're right. Bat two. What's, uh, what turns on when you turn bat two on? Flaps. No, flaps don't turn on. That's when bat one comes on. Oh, really? What turns on when you turn bat two on? The first thing you do. First, uh, a, 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 um, Not both. Only one screen does, right? Your instrument, PFD turns on. That's why we're leaving bat two on. We want instrumentation. Cap seven three heavy flight. Okay. Cap two fire extinguisher activated. Avionics switch off, off. All switch, all of the switches off. Land as soon as possible. Uh. Five ninety checking aboard sixteen hundred for two. Setting master switches off. Source eliminates the fire. Okay then, I guess uh, uh, airflow selector off. Okay, it, it keeps getting com getting me confused. Airflow selector is the air condition. Is that another name for the air condition? No, it's airflow. Because this is not air condition. This is just outside air. Okay. Or it could be heat. Left heading one five zero. I wouldn't call it AC. AC is a, a a part of it, but it's the airflow selector. So okay. Here we select the position, and here we select the intensity. Okay. So we just turn it off. Yeah, because that's right, pulling air from inside the engine bay. Um, depends on what's going on, right? So, this is for VFR or IFR. Airflow off, bat one, bat two, bat two off. Avionics on, one at a time. Figure out what it is, basically. And then we're going to turn the air basically on and try to ventilate the cabin. Okay, we don't have any additional fire or anything like that. Um, which would be the next thing. Yeah, there you go. November 8, 9, additional traffic, cover clock, five miles. Which one is this? 4,700, oh. type unknown. Piers descending. Look at the traffic, ain't mainly Lima. Okay. Uh, okay, so then, then back one, back two, depending. Come back on, and alternate is on. So that's if we've... We, we, if, when we turn something off, if we off, turn off the master switches and it killed the, the smoke or the fume, all right, then we turn this off, all right, we turn everything back on, avionics on, and then we require systems one at a time. Temperature selector goes to cold, we do the V panel defrost position, and we set it to maximum. This is to help defume the aircraft. Island panels are going to be all open. And then we're going to land as soon as possible, okay? Um, so that's to help eliminate fumes. Now, back to here, we do have smoke and fume elimination, which is kind of the same thing. Air conditioning off, temperature selector full cold, which is just outside air. Deep panel defrost position, airflow maximum. Airflow selector off if source of fumes is forward of the firewall, which is in the engine area because we would blow smoke in here but if it's not we have clear air we're going to leave that open and we're going to ventilate what other way might we have to ventilate the cabin if it's like really bad in here open the door open the door exactly that's what we'll do we'll crack the doors open and help to exhaust anything if we can't breathe then we're going to pass out because we're going to asphyxiate on you know toxic electrical acrid smoke yeah. open those doors man yeah you know Get the doors open. Um, eight nine radar service terminate squawk B four fix the change of fields in sight yet? Switch over eight nine limit thanks for the help today. I don't see of lights over there. I don't. Uh, 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 I see the. No, that's not it. I see the airport. Man, you got some eyes. I still gotta train my eyes to look, to look at it. Okay, so see the road right there. The I, highway? See, I see. Follow the, the road. And then the big patch with the lights, just Got a few it. different lights. That's Got the airport. Because remember when you're on final for 3 2, yep. you turn base by that highway, right? And then you come up into the airport. On way of approach, uh, 2 1 Echo Fox uh, has the fuel in sight. Remember 1 Echo Fox, our radar service terminate squad BFR, previously you change your proof. On BFR, uh, have a good night, 2 1 Echo Fox. Me too. Alright, perfect. Uh, 73 heavy flight contact. So we're probably going to be landing 1 4 again, right? 
Is that what you determine, or are you going to listen to the weather? Oh, we should listen to the weather. Probably listen to the weather, right? Yeah, or well, was uh, one to one, one to one sixty. Don't just put that in here in COM 1. Well, why not? COM 2. Okay. Clear. 1, 2, 1, 6, 2, 5. Okay, now go to COM two, 1. Two, Celsius. Put C TAF in. D point 1, 3. Celsius. 1, 2, 3, 0. Altimeter. 3, 0, 2, 7. One more time. Monmouth Executive Airport. Automated weather observation. Perfect. Two, three, five, niner. Zulu. Wind variable at zero, five. That Visibility helps me. One, yeah. zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature, two, two. Celsius, dew point, one, three. Celsius, traffic. Couple one, three, three zero, is two, for a left base runway, two, four, one. Wind Monument traffic, left two one, Alpha Fox is a five mile runway. Two, three, five, niner, Zulu. Wind variable at zero, five. Temple one, <laughs> so we could just land three, two, we could. Sky condition, I believe I have you in sight. Temperature, uh, two. According to the wind here, I would think three, two would be better. Point one, three. Celsius. But that doesn't mean that it's not going to be. Three, zero, two, okay, we'll seven. slow it down for you. I uh, very much appreciate it, sir. Monmouth yeah, Executive Airport. That's, that's no help. <laughs> Just land 3-2 then? Yeah, let's do 3-2. Traffic. Temple if the wind changes or the wind slip uh, looks not correct, then we'll have to change it. Pine Valley traffic, Bonanza 2289 Lima. Watch that descent rate, 2,000 feet per minute. 2 3, Pine Valley. Ripping down. Wing Hinecom, Temple One. No more than a thousand feet per minute. We'll be shutting down Spot Alpha. Great traffic. Five hundred one six miles to the north and down to two six. How much traffic? Uh, two one Echo Fox is six miles to the east. Uh, we'll be lining up for uh, final three two. Um, yeah, so I would have just said we're on a five mile final three two. And helicopter coming to the wings, where are you in? That works too. Traffic. One nine one Mike Bravo station air, taking runway one four southwest down the park. Let's break off for one four here. Turn final, one, one, four, here. one turn and final I have you in sight there. Thanks, I appreciate it. Let me get in there. Of course. Alright, so Valley traffic make an amendment call that will be uh, entered the left out one one four. How much traffic to one echo fox uh it's going to be switching to uh, runway 14. One okay. Switching to 14 doesn't give them much information, though, right? What does uh, that even mean to somebody that's listening uh, to you for the first time? No idea. No clue what you mean by that. You need to say that we're going to be entering the left Allen for runway 14 on the 45. You could have told them that you're 3.8 miles to the east, whatever. Give them information. You know, switch to one four. You're assuming somebody heard you before and knows who you are and everything. But be specific about where you are, what you're doing, what you're planning. All right. Mama traffic to one Folks will be joining the uh, left down wind for one four on a 45. Perfect. Mama. Much better. At least now they know what you're doing. All right, so let's get that speed down, though, because we're almost at 130, and the pattern is right here. And let's get on to pattern altitude. Great traffic, Cessna 500 Forum is uh, three miles north of down to 36. So you're about, right now, about a mile downwind. So you're looking where, you're, where you need to be. That's what I'm hoping.
Operating traffic says we're downwind for three foot. Moment traffic, two one echo folks left on wind one four mom. Where's my touchdown? Mama traffic, 491 Mark Station Air, part of runway 14, southwest bound, last call out of the area, Mama. Okay. Just watch your wind diamond and your tail because we widen out to 1.2 miles from a 0.9 mile downwind. 17 knots off your left.